what's up? This is Jordan Wagner with PremierGuitar.com here again to tell you about the new PV Void 4-string bass. This is PV's attempt to go after the heavier metal crowd and as you can see from its stylings it's definitely tailored towards that. Now this new model is made in China. Um, it has a maple neck through construction with two basswood wings. Uh, has PV USA designed VFL active humbuckers wired in 18 volt configuration and it has a three band EQ, each one for treble, middle, bass. There is 12 decibels of cut or 12 decibels of boost, which is quite a bit, and blend control and a master volume. Uh, each one of the three uh, EQ controls in the blend has a nice satisfying notch, a little click right in the middle to kind of give you an idea of where the halfway point is. Uh, the neck is bound with rosewood fingerboard and a single sharp tooth inlay on the neck and enclosed die cast tuners. Now this uh, three band EQ section here combined with PV's VFL pickups um, is pretty versatile. Um, the 12 decibels of cut and 12 decibels of boost offer a wide, wide range of tones. Uh, you can quickly go from pretty bass heavy tones all the way to brash, you know, super mid heavy lemmy type tones. And if you want a little bit more treble, if you're a thrash metal player, you can dial that in too and dial back the bass a little bit. Um, but you have to be a little bit careful with it. Um, higher settings can cause the, uh, basically the output to distort. It's actually kind of a cool sound if you're into doomier sounding stuff, um, but really just small, minute adjustments can make a world of difference. So I'm going to demonstrate some tones at the bass right now. I'm starting off with a three band EQ set straight up to noon, um, halfway point. The blend control set evenly between both pickups. <laughs> So now I have the middle EQ control uh, rolled up a little bit more along with the treble and the bass um, blend control rolled back over a little bit more towards the bridge pickup. And you can really hear there's more girth and definition. You can definitely hear the added mid-range. <laughs> So the Void has an awful lot of versatility tailored towards metal and hard rock, um, but my biggest qualm with it is, is it's not the easiest bass in the world to play. Um, the body is quite big, and the strap button placement, which is pretty conventional, right behind the neck joint and on the end of the upper end of the body right here, but it kind of sets it right about there against your gut, and the neck, being even you know pretty common 34 inch scale length still feels really far away and you have to stretch it. I'm 5'11 and I had to stretch out my almost my entire arm just to get to the low first fret. Um, and I think that has to do with the fact of where the neck joint is placed. Uh, just take some getting used to and it might end up actually being a feel that you like after a while. Uh, players with a taller stature or longer arms probably would love it. Um, shorter players it's just going to take some getting accustomed to if you sit down with it at your local guitar store or wherever. So there you have it. That is PV's new four-string Void Bass. Street price on this monster is $4.99. You can read my full review in the September issue of Premier Guitar or online at www.premierguitar.com. So again, this is Jordan Wagner, and thanks for watching.